Hey, this is Mark with the Practical Still. We're gonna open up another bottle, and I did already open it, but uh, it was surprisingly good, so I wanted to share it. This is the Balcones True Blue 100 Corn Whiskey. It's made from 100% roasted blue corn. It's pot distilled in Texas. It is 100 proof. I paid $45 for this, and the reason I bought it was on one of our Friday Sips Live, a listener in Texas named Bender told us it was one of the whiskeys we should pay attention to in, in Texas. And if you haven't watched Friday Sips Live, that's where Dan and I sit around on Friday afternoon around quarter to three, three o'clock mountain time, and we talk about whiskey, and that's where this came from. It was surprisingly good, so I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. This is um, at least two years old. Uh, so you think, eh, not so much. Uh, it is all corn whiskey, but uh, all corn-based whiskey. And it's 100 proof. They talk about the Bottled and Bond Act on the back of the label. It's a little misleading because it is not Bottled and Bond. Uh, it has a, oh, just sitting here, has a lovely nose. It's fruity. I mean, it's near bubblegum type fruity. Um, quite good. We were just, Dan and I were both just surprised at how good it was. And I'll tell you what, uh, per the label, never chill filtered, uh, never colored. Look at how dark that is for a two-year-old whiskey. Now, it is hot in Texas. I'm from the South. It gets, if you haven't been there and lived there in the summer, you just have no idea how hot it gets there. So I can imagine the grain in these barrels is opening and closing. And if you haven't really dug into corn whiskey, per the TTB, it can be aged in a new barrel, but it can't be a charred new barrel. Or it can be aged in used barrels. So where it got this color... I don't know, but I'm just guessing it's the heat opening the grain of whatever barrels they had it in in such a short time. But that's a dark whiskey. And the nose, I mean, you can, there's char to it. But there's just also some just interesting confectionery flavors in it. It's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, there's wood. You can tell there's wood. But it's just different. You know, we, when we tasted it live, we tasted up against mellow corn. Completely different whiskey. The, the secret sauce of this recipe is the finish. Um, you know, every time I sip this whiskey, which hadn't been a whole lot, it's a little different. But what's consistent is the finish just has all these confectionery flavors in it that are just, they're just surprising. Is it worth 45 bucks? Probably not. Uh, I doubt I'd buy another one. I can imagine that, because uh, it's a little odd. I mean, it's not your standard whiskey. Uh, I'm going to try a few things. I'm going to try an old fashioned with it. I'm going to try a few different cocktails. I could imagine it gets about halfway down and I never drink any more of it, but it's just different and it is enjoyable. And gosh, that doesn't come along that often these days. So if you get tired of the same old, same old, give this a shot. It's three times as much as mellow corn, but it is, it's three times the whiskey mellow corn is 100%. So if you're getting into corn whiskey, give this a shot. I can certainly see where a little sugar, just a little sugar and some bitters, a little ice makes a heck of an old fashioned. I, I'm telling you, I'm thinking a relatively dry, sweet vermouth. Uh, would be awesome with this, kind of a, a Manhattan type thing. Don't overlook it. We're all drinking the same stuff. Step out once in a while, try something different. Balcones is certainly something different. They also do single malts and bourbons and all sorts of stuff. So give that a try. If you've had Balcones, let me know what you think. Is 45 bucks too much for a two-year-old 100-proof blue corn whiskey? Seems like it, but it is enjoyable, and that ain't so bad. Cheers.